Thank you, Mr. Chair. I rise in favor of my amendment, which inserts my 90-day review act into HR 1. My amendment will further improve HR 1's overall go goal of ensuring reasonable timelines and predictability for projects by shortening the timeline to file a petition for judicial review of a permit license or approval of a major infrastructure project from 150 days to 90 days. Frivolous litigation should not be a hurdle to critical infrastructure projects that will improve the lives of Americans across the country. For far too long, we have put trial lawyers' interests ahead of the American people. Burdensome litigation causes our hardworking men and women to sit idle on job sites as they wait on court processes. It is far past time that Congress reduces the federal government's str stranglehold on critical infrastructure projects and helps job creators put the American people to work. By streamlining the federal lit litigation timeline, my amendment will help reduce frivolous litigation, cut red tape, and help critical infrastructure projects move forward in a more timely manner. My amendment will reduce the amount of time it takes to construct real and important infrastructure projects like highways, bridges, railways, dams, and other important projects that will improve the lives of the people in my district and all across America. Last Congress, we saw Democrats ram through a trillion dollar infrastructure bill, only 9% of it, which actually went to infrastructure, rather than focusing on meaningful reforms, this bill funded a slush fund at the Department of Energy for Green New Deal projects, tens of billions of dollars to subsidize the electric vehicle industry, establish programs to cool down pavement, reduce idling done by trucks, and even study racist roads and bridges. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that correctly. Instead of spending time on this unpopular America last agenda, House Republicans have proposed real reforms like this one, and, I would, and it would cut red tape and speed up construction. I am proud to be a co-sponsor of this uh, legislation, and I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of my amendment as well as the underlying bill. And with that, Mr. Chair, I reserve.